these are the marks that I'm talking about. When you're pushing your fabric through, you're looking at these marks to make sure that they're lined up correctly. And my mother-in-law, uh, she owned this machine before I did, like 20 something or even 30 years ago. She actually put this tape and these markings on the machine at that time and I've gone over the markings that she's had just to, you know, use the same markings that she used. And when the fabric is folded, I just keep it lined up with whatever markings are there unless I'm <laughs> ultimate freestyling and that way I just keep the keep an eye on what's going on right here well it still is lining up with that particular one so it all depends uh, if you want to better your skill at lining things up and uh, sewing in straight lines and whatnot I suggest marking your your machine so you could keep an eye on where your fabric is opposed to looking at the the needle I don't suggest looking at the needle when you're sewing because the needle and the foot they will always stay there but your fabric as you already know is like moving around but if you have something to guide you you'll be able to keep it in that slot but I'll, I'll go ahead and sew something so you guys could see what I'm talking about in depth I'm lined up with that one If your machine is like this without uh, a little standing table or um, stabilizer or whatever you want to call it, I don't know exactly what to call it. I call it a little tiny table. If your machine doesn't have a little table, then I suggest looking into it. I don't know. Um, your, your machine's make should have, uh, make and model should have an attachment that you can get. This one came with this little guy. When I'm doing sleeves and neck holes or whatever, uh, arm holes, I take it off and I use the smaller um, arm or the smaller setting the original but when I'm sewing larger fabric I actually put this on for every other garment other than neck holes and arm holes I'm using this to help guide the fabric and you'll see I'm holding it or guiding the fabric through like this while stabilizing with this hand and between the two of that and the guide down here, the teeth, between the two of that and the, these teeth down here, it just helps the fabric go through, moving through at its own pace. Your guy down there is helping you go as fast or as slow as you want to. So you shouldn't be pushing or pulling up here. And that should help you stabilize or sew straight. So long as your fabric is folded straight and lined up straight, it doesn't matter if your edges are frayed. Sometimes you get fabric at the store that is frayed or off-center or crooked or whatever you want to say. It's okay so long as you know this and your stitching and technique is straight.
next a stitch, needle down, turn. So this is me sewing freestyle where basically I just turned at the end here, the end of the fabric. I ended up at the close to the edge, but you see where the needle is, right? My needle position is still away from the edge. I still have that space and that to uh, go with, but I'm not looking at that when I'm sewing. I'm looking at this edge foot where my fabric actually is. And if I wanted to, I could actually move the fabric up so it's it lined up with the foot itself. But I'll keep it here just because I mean, you have your markers, you have the foot to guide you for people like me. You have all of these marks to sort out where you want to be, depending on what kind of hem you're doing, or the length of hem, width of hem, or whatever. Um, there, I've been recording and didn't get it for you, <laughs> so I'll continue now. You have... firm grip or firm hold on your fabric. My guide hand is busy holding the camera, but here we are. Here we go. straight stitching. Yay. I can't record and sew like this. But anyhow, you get the idea. Doing my half an inch gradual. Again, everything is gradual eventually. So I'm going to go forward with this. Now I'm going to go serious.